WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. With your 2 p.m. update, and currently we have all of U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow off 709 points, 2 percent. S&P one and seven tenths percent, 76 points. Nasdaq one and a half percent, 221. Russell's off 40. That's 2 percent. Three and six tenths percent for the semis. They're down 123 points. Gold is trading up 43.70. 19.44 is the print. Silver. Drop a buck 16. That's nearly 5%. 2553 is the print there. Lights we crude up eight dollars and change at 10389. Natural gas trading up 14 pennies. That's up over 3%. 454 is the print. And the 30-year treasury up two, nearly three points. Two and 25 30 seconds. Trading out at 159.15. Man, do the Europeans want out of their currency and in to US dollars? Just take a look at the US dollar index. It's trading higher. The 30-year treasury trading higher. You gotta love the US of A. Let's go take a look at what else is going on inside the market. You know, in the 12 p or the 1 p.m. update, we took a look at the index ETFs. That's the same chart that we're going to begin with here. Each of them now, different than what we had at 1 o'clock, have tested their swing points from four days ago, February the 24th. If, in fact, the SPY, and, and they're all doing it on light volume. Not that they can't get some huge volume that comes in at day's end, but right now it doesn't look like it. So a close on the SPY about 428.76, test and rejection. A close above 341.04 in the Qs, test and rejection. A close above 332.74 in the Diamonds, test and rejection. A close above 198.48 in the IWM would be a test and rejection. Now, if price closes inside those levels, even if they are on light volume, that sets up the possibility of a run to go test those areas. If price rejects those areas, suggest a run higher. Now, the problem with the run higher is you typically go to the prior swing point out here, and that could be really just yesterday, so to speak, out there. But that's still something to watch. If we go take a quick peek at the, I've got just a moment to do this, go take a look at our indice charts out here, see what kind of signals they might be offering us. If we look at the Dow Industrials out here, it's not a good signal. But you can see prices trading back inside. When I say it's not a good signal, resistance was at that red oscillator and change line. It's trading inside that swing point, just like the uh, uh, ETF the SPY is doing. So if it closes inside there, it says it should go back and test it. The SPYs, if it can close back above 43.29, the key level of support will have held. The NDX 100, it's still traded above its key level of support, as is the Russell. The semis, not so much. Folks, stay tuned. David White, your favorite polar bears up next. Have a terrific Tuesday. I'll see you back here, one o'clock sharp on Wonderful Wednesday.